everybody, John Flannel here from Insightful Recordings coming at you today with a quick tutorial on how to make a bass drop in Pro Tools. Now, I know there's already a ton of tutorials on YouTube how to make a bass drop, but most of them are pretty outdated or they add in a ton of unnecessary steps which will slow down your workflow tremendously. So I'm gonna show you a really fast way, really quick and easy, only a couple steps. I am using Pro Tools 11 on Windows, but the same method works on any of the recent versions of Pro Tools and it doesn't matter if you're on Windows or Mac. Now, to start off, I just wanna show you what we're gonna accomplish here. This is a song from a band I'm working with at the moment called Copperhead. Every time I turn my fucking back. Now, as you can see, it just adds an impact to that part when it kicks in. I can show you how to do this in just three easy steps. Let me show you one more time, solo it out. Now, first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously select the area that you want the bass drop in. I wanted this one to be pretty short, so I only select one bar. Then hold shift so I can open multiple audio suite plugins at once. And we're gonna go to other signal generator, pitch shift, verify, harmonic, lo-fi. Quick overview of which each are there is a signal generator, which basically, for what we're gonna be using it for, is creating a sine wave. You set the frequency and then you set the volume. Then there is verify. It has the effect of a tape reel stopping or starting, and it makes it sound like the audio is slowing down or speeding up, just like it says here. And lo fi is basically a distortion. We're gonna start with signal generator. The way I like to do it is I like to take either whatever key the song is in or whatever the guitars are tuned to and use that frequency to make my bass drop. Now, I know that these guys in this song are tuned to drop A, so I would go online, look up frequency of A, and I go up to A1, and I see 55 hertz. So I make... 55 hertz sine wave, and then we set it to negative 10 dB. And then we're gonna go to render and show you what that makes. Basically just makes a continuous sine wave just like that. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is use the verify, slow down effect, selection fit to with the sine wave still selected, and you want fades on, render, and now you have a drop just like this. Now that's good, but we wanna spunk it up a little more, make it sound a little more gritty, so we're gonna use the lo-fi. I like to start with distortion at one, saturation at one, render it just like that. That usually is plenty for me, but you can adjust those settings as you need, and you might have different preferences, but this is what you get from it. And now we listen to the track. Every time I turn my fucking back. Sweet. Now, what I usually like to do is, I already have them all in, but I will add them all in at the same time. So I'd pick wherever I want it selected, just boom, just like that and I'd go through the whole song, add them in where necessary and whatever lengths necessary. The length of the bass drop is obviously all preference. It just depends on the part and you can just use your own judgment for that. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please like. I'm gonna be adding a ton more tutorial videos to YouTube soon for Pro Tools. So keep checking back on a daily basis. I will have plenty more for you. Thanks for watching.